hey guys all right so today we are going to work on a maverick tutorial how to maverick with the more advanced strategies of how to maverick and basically every situation that you would basically map open a wall i know i did a maverick tutorial uh link will be in the description as well um it was a more basic approach and i was a little bit greener uh in terms of like how to map uh, now, I like to think of myself as someone that kind of knows what he's doing when he does have a map torch in his hand. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get to it. Uh, we basically need to go over the basics, starting from the square one, the basics, working our way up to more advanced stuff, opening, cutting a wall open all the way. And then also the more advanced stuff, stuff that you don't normally see people do, cutting, cutting basically multiple holes into walls so you can uh, get through them without having to risk your life while you're cutting. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's start with how to Maverick, the very basic level. So if you have a hard breacher with you and you're trying to open up a wall, you don't have to cut it all the way open. If it could just like grenade off like a Cade, a Mute, or Bandit, what you can do is just do it really safe and just make a hole. Then you can just pop a grenade right through, like so. And then have your hard breacher hit the wall. Very basic, very easy to do, very safe to do that most of the time. So just, just be careful they, if they throw a nitro out, maybe have someone just like kind of hold an angle on it or like watch the drone hole or something. You should be okay. All right, now we get to the more dangerous is opening the entire wall as Maverick. Personally, this is what I normally do. Um, you have to be careful because they can kill you through the prone holes when you're making it. You gotta be really careful. You're gonna want someone like on the server window so make sure that like, you, they're not gonna be prone like to your left because otherwise they will be able to get you. And maybe have someone repelled here or here. I like having someone repelled here and repelled up here because repelling up here, they can get an angle into garage into rafters. See like, they can like see like so into rafters. Normally they'll be rotated there. They can see, they can see pretty deep and you can help push garage that way. Um, and someone repelled here so they can watch the prone holes to the right. You know, someone at the window, you're not gonna have to worry about the left. But then you go, boom. Make sure you get the corners. The corners are the most important part of this, all right? You just go across like so. We didn't know that. Just pretend I went all the way. <laughs> Make sure to get the corners. Always, always get the corners. You'll hear the noise when you know you got the corner. And when you get the corner, you go all the way over. Make sure you don't miss a spot and boom. Like so. What you can do to open it, this is pretty advanced i don't recommend doing this normally you'd want to have like a buck or i'd probably say like a buck or a zofia you can have a sledge do it but it's a little dangerous to have to sledge it from up close i would have probably a zofia with you or an ash uh what you can do as maverick is you can throw a grenade like so to open it check my grenade video to learn how to do that <laughs> you can fall right through it boom all right guys now we're gonna talk about how to open up dirt on clubhouse so you're gonna want to watch out for the runouts, the window, and a potentially a jacuzzi impact runout. You're gonna make some line of sight here, so you're gonna have someone back here and like kind of help hold some someone pushing up to you. And uh, I wanna open it again because I, I just did that one. You're gonna open it like so. You can either hit fire this or aim in. Either one works. Hit firing is a little faster. Make sure you get the corners. Boom, and you have a hole. And you just push in. So the difference between hit firing it and aiming in is you can go at a, like this is as fast as I can go while I'm aimed in. So it's it's a little slower. And if you're hit firing, you can go quite a bit faster if you know what you're doing. So start aiming in and work over to hit firing it once you kind of get the feel of how to do it. All right, let's talk about the bakery wall in cafe. This wall is a little tricky because if you do it all the way at the bottom, you won't actually get the wall. So for the top, it's easy enough. You just have to be careful. Let's get that. There you go, boom. All right, and you have to go up a little bit more than you would normally for any other wall. I would probably just go like here, but be careful because people will be prone to the left. They'll be prone to the right. You're gonna want to probably have a teammate either prone over here or prone over here or hopefully both while someone watches prep. Normally this wall will also be reinforced. So what you can do as Mav is just 
make some line of sight for someone to watch the prep run. All right, so you get that, and we're also gonna get here. Wall open. You grenade it out. Or, like I said, have a Zofia or a Ash or a Buck or what have you. Or you can learn how to do that. If, do I learn how to do that? Honestly, I have that video on YouTube. It's called How to Grenade Like a Champion. It's not very hard to do. You just got to work on the timing. It'll only take you a couple tries to learn how to do it. All right, guys. Oh. All right, all right yeah, bitch. All right, anyways. Uh, <laughs> get back to the wall. So now we're going to do... A more advanced way so sometimes you're not gonna really feel safe either left or right because the prone holes so what you're gonna want to do is do that from the top this is a very advanced way I mean I want to say it's super advanced because it's not that not that hard to do and it won't give you as many holes on site to use um, well, let's, let's go through it let's talk about it do that and then what you're gonna do is you can go left and right and you're gonna cut up cut open a box that you can bolt through all right like a hole that you would have is like go down, up and down. Good be right there. You can just shoot that part off. But um but even doing that is that you're not gonna have to worry about the prone holes. You won't have as much open, but you can just bolt through it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing too bad. Um, what you can do is do that and then also have like, maybe like line of sight leg on the side, just so you can have angles, your teammates can have angles while you guys actually pressure inside the building. All right, that's the advanced way. Uh, this way is a little trickier because when you're cutting open the box, it can be kind of hard not to get pressured because your head is going to be very close to where you're going to get shot. You could go prone and make it really safe. Um, but yeah, so that's the advanced way. Now we're going to work on the hatchet. All right, guys. So now we're going to deal with how to open hatches. So you're not going to be using this most of the time. Sometimes you will use it on organ to open hatches. A lot of time they'll be catered and you will have to open a hatch. So you gotta make sure that when you are opening the hatch, that you're keeping your head away from the holes. Do it from on top of the hatch, over. Sometimes it'll be electrified though. So like, you will wanna be a little bit safe. What you can do to make it really easy is this. Just cut and cut and cut and cut until at some point the hatch just goes down. You can get the corners of the hatch, or you can just, just straight raw damage it. You all want to be safe there because people can shoot you from there, so you can like do stuff like this. And you get the hatch open, boom. You will only realistically be able to cut probably one hatch and almost open up a wall. So you're gonna to want to be careful. If you have to open a hatch, it is hard to make an actual opening for like a main wall. You won't be able to cut it like top and down, but you will be able to make like maybe like a little hole in, in a, like a uh, reinforced wall. If you're careful. Boom. Um, you will have enough, so. Yeah, all right guys, that's I think all I can think of on how to Maverick, things that you would use Maverick on, and uh, basically just how to not be scared and confused when your teammate tells you to go Maverick. Hopefully this guy helps you out a lot. Um, I know that I, I needed to learn how to do this after a while because like people will tell you go maverick and you're gonna look at a wall and you're gonna be like oh hell <laughs> but anyways guys i hope you learned something if you guys want more tips and tricks or like uh basically any other type of content like this um let me know in down in the comments what you guys want me to work on and uh get, get it to you guys um but yeah till next time guys make sure to show some love in the video leave a comment make sure you sub love you guys see you the next time All right. Also, special shout out to Merrick for uh, reinforcing all these walls for me. I'm sure, that was annoying. <laughs>